Today we're going to talk about the wonders of the potato. There's a lot of varieties of potatoes. There's red potatoes, russet potatoes, or known as Idaho potatoes. There's even purple and blue varieties, and even just red. But today we're going to talk about the more classic mashed potato. The russet or Idaho potato is the one you'll want to use for this recipe. And it is one of my favorite vegetables in the world. So I have a pot here. You want a large pot. It's about half filled with water, at least enough to cover up the potatoes. Then the potatoes, you peel them and you cut them half inch cubes. Put them in the water, then you go ahead, turn it on, let it boil. Now I'm going to show you how to make glazed carrots. Carrots are my second favorite vegetable in the world. They're very versatile, just like a potato. We have half a pound, eight ounces of carrots that are peeled. You don't have to peel them if you don't want to, but you gotta make sure to wash them because they grow in the ground. You don't want to be eating dirt. And they're cut in a fourth of an inch rounds. So it's pretty simple. You put that in a one quart pot. You'll add a tablespoon of butter. A tablespoon of sugar. And lastly, a fourth of a cup of water. Now the easy part about this, you just put it on the stove top, put it on high, let it go, and stir it every once in a while, in about 5-6 minutes, you'll have some glazed carrots. Okay, it's been about 4-5 minutes now, so we'll go ahead, we'll take a little sprinkle of salt here, add it all in there, give her a stir. As you can see, when you look in your pot here, a lot of the liquid's evaporating, and that butter and sugar is making these carrots nice and glazed. And so why don't you come over here and take a look. Okay, so now you saw what it looks like on the inside. I turned it on low, let it cook for another minute or two until you taste them and they're nice and tender. If you need to add more salt, you can go ahead and if it's not sweet enough, you can add a little bit more honey to give it a little bit more sweetness. Otherwise, if you want to, you can change this recipe and put up to three tablespoons of sugar instead of one tablespoon. Now this lovely little side dish, you can go ahead, serve with anything you want, or have it by itself, garnish with a little bit of parsley maybe, good to go. Okay, our potatoes are done now. You can tell they're done when you take a knife and you stab it and it goes right through the potato, easy as pie. So we're going to go ahead, pour off this water. You can use a lid if you're having problems. Alright, I got all the water drained off. Set my pot down for a second. Put a towel out. Now, there's all kinds of ways you can mash potatoes. You can use a regular hand masher, which you're better off getting the metal kinds because those plastic and silicone ones, they just bend and give away. It's pointless. Or you can invest in a food mill, which is pretty nice. You put the food right in, turn it, comes out nice and smooth. They have interchangeable plates, so you can have coarse, medium, or fine grinds. Or you can also just put this through a mixer, but I'm going to mash it by hand. Potatoes are actually one of the most interesting things. Uh, a lot of people go ahead and think about Ireland when they think of potatoes. Potatoes is actually what got Ireland through its tough times because they became very poor and the potato made its way to their soil and it grew very well there. So they went ahead and they depended heavily upon this and then when the famine hit, that's what caused a lot of starvation. Alright, I got it nice and mashed. We'll add in two ounces of butter. Then we'll also add in a fourth of a cup of milk. And then just continue mashing. Nice and simple. And this will beat anything you get out of a bag. This is just pure and simple love right here. Be able to make your own mashed potatoes and it's done in less than 15 minutes. Now we go ahead we'll season it with some salt and pepper however you like it go ahead and give it a taste I know how I like mine because I will easily sit down and eat a whole bowl of this by myself mix it all in there give her a taste
you'll be just fine. You can eat that by itself or put it with a steak.